U.S. Meat Export Federation works to build exports of U.S. beef and pork in 80 countries worldwide. One of the top U.S. meat export markets is Mexico, a growing nation of nearly 110 million people. There's been pretty strong growth in consumption of meat products by the average Mexican over the last 15 years. And that's uh, opened up a lot of opportunity for U.S. Uh, exporters of pork, beef, and other meat products. Seeing the opportunity in Mexico was the goal for a team of 16 U.S. beef, pork, grain, and soybean producers and meat exporters who participated in a five-day USMEF market expo. The team visited key sectors in the market from Mexico's busy retail stores and restaurants to meat processors, cold storage facilities, and freight forwarders located near the border crossing. Mexico's uh, USMEF in the U.S. industry's largest beef market by far and also the second largest pork market. So it's important for the membership to come and see the, see the market firsthand, see the clients who are, who are buying our product, how they're using it. So it's quite informative for our members. It really opens your eyes. We've got to actually see how the promotion of beef was done down in Mexico and now we're traveling, as we're traveling back north, we're seeing how the process actually goes over the border and through the border. Well, actually, the, you know, the, the border crossing was a quite a you know, learning experience. Um, basically, when you're in Mexico, you are dealing more, mostly with distributors, with retailers, and you don't have the chance to see, I mean, this part of the business. Uh, understanding what is involved in the process of, you know, crossing the border and the problems that our distributors face every day is very important. Although many Mexican consumers still buy fresh meat at traditional wet markets, the trend is toward modern retail stores similar to those in the U.S. Here, Mexican consumers find U.S. beef and pork clearly identified in clean, modern meat cases. We think that by investing more money at the point of sale, it's going to have a much greater impact on, on, on building that demand and increasing sales. To uh, see how they're marketing it at, at the grocery stores and, and uh, telling the story. and I think some of the programs that uh, U.S. Meat has done to develop the market has been good. From last Fridays, I have seen a lot of, you know, the most impressive I have seen is um, USMF promotions for the pork product or red meat products. When you walk into a grocery store or supermarket down there and you say USMEF and US meat, that's pretty incredible. USMEF uses a variety of retail promotions to drive sales. One major promotion ties in with Mother's Day. Working with Mexico's major retail chains, the USMEF Mother's Day promotion provides incentives for Mexican consumers to buy significant quantities of U.S. beef and pork over a two and a half month period. When a, a customer comes to one of those uh, retail outlets, they have to buy uh, actually 15 kilos of meat and, and that's, a little, that's over 30 pounds of meat. And once they do that and also give the sales ticket, they're eligible to get two tickets to a concert. So there'll be 8,000 people in total who would have been elig eligible and got these tickets for the concert. Before the concert begins, we'll give these 8,000 people some uh, cooking tips and other information regarding the, the products that we sell, beef and pork. So it's been very successful. It's a promotion that uh, is specifically uh, targeting increase in sales. We have uh, talked to retail chains and um, we have determined that uh, this type of promotions has a direct impact in sales right away. USMEF is also reaching new customers by developing relationships with a new style of retailer in Mexico called a meat boutique. They're really meat centric, they're kind of attractive looking stores. A lot of people go there and buy their meat for weekend grillings and, and other things. We're building uh, bridges and new relationships uh, throughout Mexico working more closely with the regional supermarket chains, just not the ones in Mexico City. For right now, Homeo doesn't uh, have a lot of export in the retail store in Mexico, and that's an opportunity for our company in the future. I've been very impressed with the Meat Export Federation and what they've done to uh, educate the Mexican people on the different cuts of meat, the different types of meat, um, the way to prepare it, uh, just all of the different uh, things that they need to have the, the best quality product that they uh, would want to buy. In Mexico's restaurants, U.S. meat is also gaining market share in part because of USMEF food service promotions, including a contest that introduces chefs to U.S. beef, pork, and lamb. 
In addition, USMEF helps with menu promotions at family-style restaurant chains such as Tox. At our noon restaurant yesterday, yes, they had um, a menu very diversified, but there were a lot of items that had the USMEF logo on them, both beef and pork. And it was very exciting to see that and being purchased by a lot of people in a, a very nice restaurant. The restaurant sector and hotel sector is another important area for us. It also over the years has helped really create a very positive, high quality image for our product as the Mexicans leading chefs and leading restaurants continue to buy our product and use them and showcase them to their customers. That translates uh, across the entire market and creates a very positive image for our products in the marketplace. Measuring the impact and sales results of each of these USMEF programs is a key component of every activity conducted in Mexico. We are really trying to measure everything that we do and that uh, we are trying to be you know very very uh, responsible stewards of of you know the the resources that they are entrusting us with and that uh, you know that we have a very clear objective of of increasing the you know the amount of product that is actually moved through Mexico well, one of the presentations I saw last night that impressed me was the MEF are talking about analyzing where they're spending their money. They're constantly doing this to get the most bang for our buck, if you will. And so that's extremely important to analyze and see if what they're doing is promoting areas that can make us more money and move more product. Growing U.S. meat sales in Mexico creates stronger demand not only for American beef and pork producers, but also for the corn and soybean growers who provide the feed used to raise livestock. We recognize about, you know, over two-thirds of our product is being marketed through livestock. Either. So we have to uh, find a market for our meal, and livestock is, is by far the best way, and it's, it adds value to our meal. It's exciting. Um, we still, there's definitely a need for our product through beef. 60% of our product goes through livestock. You know, I mean, it's great to, to see our corn coming through cattle and, and pork down there. USMEF programs funded by the USDA and producer checkoff dollars have helped make Mexico the number one export market for U.S. beef and the number two export market for U.S. pork. Even so, there's strong growth potential still ahead. I would say that uh, we can look forward to more opportunities uh, as long as the economy stays strong uh, for Mexico. Uh, there's still untapped demand for meat products. You've got to remember, uh, Mexico is still a developing country. There's a lot of further economic growth and it's time tested. Every time you have more growth and a growing middle class, they're going to consume more animal proteins, including U.S. pork and beef. For the USMEF team, the first-hand knowledge gained on the Market Expo was invaluable. One conclusion, the reputation and value of USMEF in Mexico working to increase sales of U.S. beef and pork is clear. Well, I think it's first rate. They obviously have a, a good rapport with the people there, uh, the people behind the meat case, uh, the retailers, the processors. They know who we are, and that's, that's ultimate because it develops trust. I thought it was a, a, a very good thing because uh, the MEF actually uh, is very uh, visible to the consumers here in the, in the country. It's exciting to see the hard work that the checkoff dollars that we put into the program uh, are, are doing. The checkoff dollars are working extremely well down here. I mean, the idea that the U.S. beef is getting exported down here and getting represented in such a good fashion, it gives you a good feeling.